Hi, everybody. Welcome to the call tonight. This is our Tuesday night um, product and science call. Uh, I'm Dr. Sean Talbot, Amara's Chief Science Officer. So we're going to get rolling here. It's just barely the top of the hour. So um, this is our Tuesday night call. We have this every week. Um, I try to do it every week if I can, if I'm not on an airplane somewhere <laughs> flying to another city. Um, and this is the call where what I do is take an hour um, to talk about um, Amari's products, Amari's science, um, why we're the mental wellness company, how we're doing the mental wellness thing in the world from a, from a fairly unique perspective around the gut brain axis. So we're gonna talk about all that kind of stuff tonight. But this Tuesday night call, it gets into some details, but it doesn't get into the nitty gritty sometimes. We will we'll use sometimes Thursdays to do what we call deep dives, where we'll get into the we'll get into all the nuances of the of the science around mental wellness or the microbiome or gut brain axis signaling or heart brain axis signaling or all that kind of stuff. So tonight we use this Tuesday night call as a place where everybody can bring people that they want to be introduced to this story. So what I'm going to try to do is give you an overview of the company, overview of the category, overview of our particular approach from a, you know, what of our products do and how do they do it kind of a perspective. And then what I like to do at the end is save a little bit of time. You know, hopefully we'll have, who knows, 20 minutes, 15 minutes, 10 minutes, depending on how much I talk tonight, um, at the end where you can type questions into the chat room. And then I'll, I'll go there first when I finish with my slides and answer any questions that are in the chat room. Um, and then after the chat room questions are answered, I'll invite people to unmute themselves and ask a question and we'll try to have a little little exchange, okay? So uh, so if this is the first time that, that you are hearing the Amari story, and a lot of times on these Tuesday night calls, this is somebody's first introduction to Amari, we are the mental wellness company. Thank you for joining us tonight. Mental wellness is a, is a big, big issue in the world. And when we started Amari, we really wanted people to think this, what you see on the slide right now, love yourself first and everything else falls into place. We named the company after this concept, the idea that if you can help yourself with stress or mood or energy levels or brain fog or resilience in general, then you're gonna have more resources to go out and help somebody else. We get a lot of people who come into this, this idea that we're bringing to the world about improving mental wellness. And you know they have the perspective of, well, I just wanna help other people. Um, but we really want people to help themselves first because if you're in a better place, you can help more people or you can help people at a, at a deeper level or in greater ways. So this is, a, this is an important concept for the company. Another important concept for the company is what we call our core values. Love, integrity, innovation, service, humility. These are things that, that quite honestly drive everything that we do, especially from a product perspective, how we source our ingredients, where we source our ingredients from, how we analyze them, how we do research, how we promote them, how we have a 100% money back guarantee, all of this kind of stuff permeates every single thing that we do. And what we do in the world is endeavor to do this, to lead the global mental well wellness revolution. Now, this is something that wasn't talked about as little as five years ago when we were thinking of putting this together. The company's been around for about three years. Uh, we've been selling products for about two years. Here we are in mid-January. We just hit our two-year anniversary of officially launching products into the world. Um, so this, this idea of mental wellness is something that people used to not talk about, you know, and I can, you know, maybe I'll, you know, get into this a little bit later about how it's even affected my research. You know, it used to be that people didn't want to volunteer themselves for this kind of research around depression and anxiety and burnout and stress levels and things like that. But nowadays, you're really seeing that change for a variety of reasons that we'll get into. So we want to lead that revolution around the globe. And the way that we're doing it, our mission is to create this holistic mental wellness platform of products, programs, and people. So the programs are things like 
movement, you know, exercise, we know is better than Prozac, for example. We know that diet, we know that eating the right way. So for example, the Mediterranean diet is more effective in helping people with their mood than any of the prescription antidepressants out there. More effective in initial efficacy or effectiveness and more effective in long-term ability to keep somebody feeling good. We know that there's very good science around things like mindfulness and meditation and breath work and, and gratitude and you know all sorts of things like that, which are programs and understanding that those kinds of lifestyle interventions can help people improve how they feel and how they perform and what their overall health is. Why would we leave those to the side and be only a product company, right? Doesn't make any sense. So what we're trying to do is really be the, the, the first company that integrates products and programs and people, which is that third piece that's really, really important. We know that social connections are one of the primary driving factors for your mood and your happiness and your resilience and even, even your longevity and your health span um, is, is very, very closely linked to your social connections. You know, so the products are one piece of what we're doing. That's what I'm gonna focus my, my comments on tonight are the product piece and the science piece. But the program piece is very important. The people piece is very important. And I've studied all of those different areas from the perspective of here's a little bit about me so you know sort of where I'm coming from with the, with the science com comments I'm gonna make tonight. My PhD is in nutritional biochemistry. So I come at answering all of these problems very much from a biochemical perspective. Um, to use an example, um, you know, what kinds of diets or what kinds of supplements or what kinds of exercise regimens, et cetera, et cetera, can change your biochemistry lower your stress hormones or improve your neurotransmitter balance or or restore balance across your inflammatory profile right that kind of stuff but then how do those biochemical changes impact on your psychology your mood your resilience your focus your energy levels all that kind of stuff so the kind of work that i do these days is sometimes called nutritional psychology or nutritional psychiatry. The idea and the, and the biochemistry piece is the link between those. How does a lifestyle intervention change your biochemistry? How does that biochemistry change your psychology? And so, you know, I've done this kind of work for the last 20 years. I've written lots of different books, some textbooks, some popular press books, had lots of bestsellers. Have, most of those books have been translated into different languages. I do a lot of media work to try to get this idea out. And I think we're in a really unique time in history right now where people are sick and tired of feeling sick and tired. You know, their, their mental wellness issues are a big problem in the world and there really aren't very good therapies and so i think we're at a perfect timing where people seem to be looking for these kinds of solutions in a way that they were never looking at them before and here comes amari here comes a, a whole company that is focused around around this gigantic problem in the world and addressing it in a very unique way but when i say mental wellness issues i want to be really clear that we're not talking exclusively about depression and anxiety. That's, that's a piece of what we're doing, and I'll show you another graphic in just a second. But when, when we talk about mental wellness, we have to realize that everybody should want to improve their focus and want to deal with stress better and want to be able to not just lower your stress, but have better resilience in the face of stress. So, you know, we can lower stress and make some, feel somebody, help somebody feel calmer and more relaxed. That's awesome but that's only one piece of the stress continuum or stress dynamic. What if you wanna have a high level of stress, but you wanna be able to rise to the occasion of that stress, that's stress resilience. We'll talk more about that in a little bit. You know, Mental wellness is involved in not just mental performance, but if you have better mental performance, you can have better physical performance. So it's a lot more than just having a mental wellness problem. There's really this aspect of improving your mental wellness, even if you don't think that you have a problem. And that's what we refer to as the mental wellness continuum. This idea that you very well might be at the low end of that continuum. And you might have some depression, you might have some anxiety, you might have some burnout and some brain fog and things like that. And if you do, 
then, then our conversation is going to be around how can we use natural therapies to help get you from being a two on the scale of one to 10 to being a four, right? Now, a four isn't probably where you want to be. A four isn't going to be the greatest thing in your life but it's going to be a heck of a lot better than a two. Or maybe you're that person that's in the middle of this mental wellness continuum. You feel fine. You don't have any problems, so to speak, but maybe you don't have the energy that you want. Maybe you don't feel motivated about things. Maybe you don't just feel as good as you used to feel or as good as you want to feel. That person who's a five or a six, we can use the same principles to get you from that five to a five or a six to feeling a seven or an eight. And now at a seven or an eight, you might feel as good as you've ever felt in your entire life. You've got good energy in the day. You're able to relax at night. You're able to have good stress resilience when the you know what hits the fan. Like that's, that's how most of us should be on a regular basis. Or you might be at the, at the optimized end of this mental wellness continuum. These are the people that I worked with for the first part of my career when I was more sort of a sport nutritionist. I worked with, with athletes at the Olympic Training Centers and the U.S. Track and Field Association and the U.S. Ski Team and people who were, by, by all external variables and measures, they were killing it every single day. They were a nine on the scale of one to ten. But if you have a downhill skier, for example, or a middle distance runner or, or, a, or a professional triathlete that is a nine, where they want to be is a 9.5 or a 9.6 or, or an 11, right? They want, it, they want to get that advantage. And the same principles that we would use in those athletes to help them improve their mental fitness so they could get more out of their physical performance are the same things that we can give to somebody who feels blah to help them feel amazing. It's the same things that we can give to somebody who feels terrible to help them feel normal again. You get the idea. And so what we here at Amari want people to realize is that we're all somewhere on this mental wellness continuum. And what we want you, people to do is ask themselves, where, where am I, honestly, and where do I want to go as my next first step? And if you can think about that, you can go from a two to a four, and I guarantee you, once you get to a four, you're going to feel better. That's awesome. But when you get to a four, you might start thinking about being a five or a six. When you were a two, you didn't think a five or a six was possible. When you're a five or a six, now you're going to start thinking about being a seven or an eight. And when you get to be an eight, you're thinking about being a nine, right? That, that sort of, of grading yourself up happens progressively and people get better and more better and more better and more better. It's the coolest thing to see. And we see it all the time. We see it in our research trials. We see it in our day-to-day -day life. I just came from, um, I'm in Salt Lake City tonight. Um, tomorrow I'll be in Milwaukee. Last week I was in California going around to all these different places telling this story. And I get to see that in people who are taking our advice and, and, and doing things across their gut brain axis to improve their mental wellness, right? So there's a scientific aspect to it. There's a real life aspect to it. They're both really, really important. And the way that we do it is we, we, we ask people really simply, how you feel is not just in your head, it's also in your gut and it's also in your heart. So the brain in your head, we refer to as your first brain. The brain in your gut, we refer to as your second brain. And the, brain, and the brain in your heart, we refer to as your third brain. Now, all of these are generating signals that are going back and forth to each one. So your gut will generate signals that'll be read by your brain. Your heart will generate signals that will be read by your brain. Your brain will generate signals that will determine how you're feeling and how you're performing. We can also get those three brains to talk to each other through something that we call the axis. So I'll get into that kind of stuff in just a little bit, but the moral of the whole story comes down to, you can finally do something about this. There are a lot of natural interventions that we have access to that we didn't have access to as, as little as a few years ago that we, can, that we can use to improve your mental wellness. Some of them work in the gut, some of them work in the heart, some of them work directly in the brain, some of them work in parts of your axis like your immune system and your inflammatory balance and your endocannabinoid system and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So it's a really, really exciting time that we have access to all of these different switches that we can help people flip to help them move up that mental wellness continuum. So when we think about this platform that we're building, 
One part of it is the products. One part of it is the programs. One part of it is the people and the social connections. Any one of those is going to help you feel better. But if you can link them all together in this really holistic, synergistic way, you can get people to, to quite literally completely change their lives in some really meaningful ways. So I think it's important for people to understand that this, this, is, this category that we're talking about right now, mental wellness issues, has always been a big problem, but there was never anything that we could really do effectively to change it into very, very recently. And because of that, because of the fact that we're able to change your mental wellness, this is something that's going to be a trillion dollar market going for decades and decades into the future. Um, and, and like that kind of shift, that kind of paradigm shift doesn't happen very often. Sometimes it doesn't even happen in our lifetimes, but we're all sitting in a time in history where that is happening right around us. And that timing piece in the middle is one part science, which I'm gonna primarily focus on for the rest of the, the rest of the seminar. Partly it's that we can use that science to develop products. Partly though, it's that, that the, the, the company has been started at this time when the science is changing, when we can harness that science to build products, but we're launching it into a, a, a really big category of problem, so to speak, but uniquely it's a, it's a category of problem that doesn't have very good solutions. Society seems to be particularly ready to accept these kinds of solutions. So, you know, you could have any one of those pieces of the timing puzzle and get excited about it. But when you have all of them coming together in, in kind of a perfect storm, if you will, that's what makes it really, really excited. So th think, think about, you know, up until Amari launched a couple of years ago, think about what the situation looked like. You know, the, the, the way things were, was that we had quite literally hundreds of millions of people who spent hundreds of billions of dollars every single year on, on things to help us, to help change how we feel. So we spent money on antidepressants, anti-anxieties, uh, ADD drugs, sleep drugs, um, you know, uh, opioids to help with physical pain, which is very closely linked to psychological pain, these mental wellness kinds of issues. We would reach for stimulants and energy drinks and junk foods and fast foods and all those kinds of things because we don't feel the way we want to feel. So in the United States alone, we spend $100 billion every single year on this kind of stuff. And the people who have ever tried any of these things that you see on the screen, you absolutely know they change how you feel. But what they generally do is take you from feeling bad to feeling differently bad. They don't take you from feeling bad to feeling good, which is really where we want to go. And there's lots of reasons for that, but chiefly the reason is because none of these things is really addressing the signals that are grow going across the gut-brain axis. And that's, that's, that's where the real, real exciting new science is. And so, you know, that idea of... This, this, this idea that we refer to as mental wellness, but other organizations like the World Health Organization might refer to as you know, a stress epidemic or a burnout epidemic or something like that. This has been such a big problem for so long, and it's always been getting a little worse, a little worse, a little worse. And just in the last couple of years, it's kind of hockey stick. It's gotten really bad really fast. This has led to mental wellness issues becoming a national conversation. It's no longer just a scientific story. It's no longer just a medical story or a public health story. I mean, we're hearing about this kind of stuff on Time Magazine. You see these stories on the magazines at the checkout counter. They're front page news on, on your newspaper. You hear them on drive time radio. We hear about this kind of stuff on ESPN now because there's so many professional athletes that are coming out and talking about these kinds of challenges that they face on a, on a daily basis. So, you know, if there's, a, if there's a silver lining to this being a big problem for so long for so many people is that it's finally reached a tipping point where people seem to be ready to talk about it. And some of those people who are talking about it are people that look like on the external, on the outside, they look like 
they're the they're they're the epitome of good physical health and 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 mental wellness. Professional athletes like Michael Phelps, like Kevin Love, um, recording artists like Jay Z and Adele and Bruce Springsteen, uh, celebrities like like Oprah and The Rock, and you know they're probably a week doesn't go by without some celebrity or someone at the top of their field coming out and talking about their challenges with mental wellness. But unfortunately, these folks are typically in the same boat as where everybody was two or three years ago. They're, they're, they think, well, I need to go on, on Prozac or Zoloft or Paxil or you know one of those kinds of things. They don't yet realize that there's some very effective natural therapies out there. And it's our job to sort of let people understand that, that, that this is happening. So, you know, the science is changing. That's what I'm going to shift gears and talk about now, but we're able to use the science to build products and programs that we can launch into a society or into a culture that seems to be particularly ready for this kind of a new approach to things, a natural approach, a science-based approach, a rebalancing approach that, that works across this gut brain or heart brain axis, which we're gonna talk about for the, for, the, for the rest of the time we have together tonight. So, you know, one way that we describe this, we sometimes we'll talk about the second brain, like I said before, or the third brain as the heart. Um, a big part of the second brain is this idea of the microbiome. The microbiome is a collection of bacteria, trillions and trillions of bacteria that produce a lot of the signaling molecules that your brain will receive. So think about this. People have heard of these neurotransmitters like serotonin that helps us be happier. 90% of our serotonin is made in our gut. People have sometimes heard of dopamine. I actually listened to a podcast today where, where some Silicon Valley types are wondering how we can help people improve their dopamine levels. Well, 70% of your dopamine comes from your microbiome. If we can get your microbiome in a better place, you'll make more serotonin so you're happier. You'll make more dopamine so you're more mo motivated. You'll make more norepinephrine so you're more focused. You'll make more GABA so you're able to relax, et cetera, et cetera. So those are some of the kinds of signals that your microbiome will make that will have signaling effects across your body. Your third brain or your heart does a different kind of signal. Now your heart can, can make hormones, your heart can make neurotransmitters. Your heart, for example, can make something called oxytocin, which is a hormone that helps us develop social connections. It's something that, you know, mo new moms will make a lot of oxytocin and that will, it's, you know, sometimes it's called the cuddle hormone because it, it induces that mom to want to cuddle with her new baby. You know, after, after having sex, you make oxytocin and that makes you want to cuddle with your, with your lover, right? There's a, so there's, there's all kinds of things that your heart is doing, but primarily the signals that we're talking about from your heart are electrical in nature. Your heart has a rhythm to it. Every time it beats, it sets off this electrical rhythm that gets transmitted through your body. One of the places that electrical rhythm goes is your brain. Your brain has an electrical rhythm. We refer to those not as brain rhythm, but we call it brain waves. So if you can get your heart rhythm and your brain waves in coherence with each other or in resonance with each other, so they match each other in their patterning, that can improve mental wellness. So there's things we can do in the gut to improve that signaling to the brain, help us feel better. There's things we can do in the heart to improve that signaling to help us feel better. And that's, and that's what we do, whether we're talking about the gut brain axis or the heart brain axis, we're, we're using that signaling pattern to improve what the brain is seeing and in doing so, improve how the brain is performing. So that might sound very, very nerdy. And it is, and it's so nerdy that this whole conversation around the gut microbiome is becoming its own sort of national conversation. It's becoming less of a nerdy scientific story and more of a mainstream story, which is, which is, which is lovely to see. Um, but it really comes down to something that's really, really simple. Here at Amari, we have taken all of that science and built it into the products already. So all people need to do is pick up one of the products plug it into their lives and get the benefits. It's, the, it's, the, it's, it's the, one of the loveliest things to see is to have somebody use one of the products and go, yep, that was it, I feel better. And when you ask them to describe how they're feeling better, sometimes they'll say, well, I just, 
I just feel generally better. My mood is better, right? So they'll think it's just a mood thing. Or they'll say, oh, my energy is back. And they'll think it's just an energy thing. Or they'll say, my, my brain fog is lifting. And they'll think it's just a focus thing. But really what you end up seeing is that it's all of that. Because when you can get your microbiome or your second brain rebalanced, and you can get your heart or your third brain rebalanced, all the signals that are going through the body sort of synergize with each other so that you might initially feel better mood and then that morphs into better energy and that morphs into better resilience and that morphs into better motivation and that morphs into that idea that I just described of getting better and more better and more better and more better. That's what we call phased benefits. We design the product specifically and strategically to deliver on that sort of a promise. And one of the ways that we do that is by harnessing what's called the axis. So when we say that the microbiome is communicating out to the rest of the body, some of those signals are going to your brain. Some of those signals are going to your stress response system, like your, your adrenal glands and places like that. Some of those signals are going to your immune system. Some of them are going to different metabolic uh, uh, organs, like your thyroid gland or your pancreas or your liver or things like that. And the, and the, and the sort of short version of the story is if you can get all of those signals coordinated with each other, you're gonna generally feel better. If your signals are uncoordinated, if your signals are out of balance in some ways, sometimes those out of balance signals can lead to you feeling fatigued or lead you to feeling sad or lead you to feeling tense or lead you to feeling cravings for junk food and stress eating and those sorts of things. And all of those can dissipate and be replaced with their opposite. So fatigue is replaced by energy. Sadness is replaced by happiness. Tenseness is replaced by an ability to relax, et cetera, et cetera. All because we're getting those signals to go, to go where they need to go. And that might sound a little overstated to a lot of people who are hearing it the first time. But think about this. We have words in our vocabulary around this idea of gut feelings, right? People, people understand that if your gut is out of balance, you're not going to feel as good as you, as you could be. Or that if you're overstressed, that can affect your gut. That's why we have words in our vocabulary around, you get a gut feeling about something, or someone will tell you to trust your gut, um, or you, know, you guys get the idea. The same applies for the heart, where we talk about being heartbroken, or heart sick, or follow your heart, or trust your heart. The same kind of thing, we, we, we sort of understand at a certain level that these tissues are talking to each other, are communicating with each other. And it's only in the last couple of years that we've been able to use the science to really figure out, okay, we know that there's something going back and forth between these tissues. What are those signals? One, like, can we understand them? And once we can understand them, can we naturally modulate them and optimize them? Take them from a point where they're sending improper or weak or staticky kinds of signals back and forth to each other, replace them with clear, efficient, proper signaling. And when we can, we can actually measure in people that they're feeling better and measuring in people that they're performing better and measuring people that they're healthier in a lot of different ways. Uh, and so we've done a lot of clinical trials here at Amari to measure things in the gut, measure things in the brain, measure things in the axis about how these signals travel from one brain to the next brain to the next brain. So, you know, when you hear me say gut brain axis or heart brain axis, you know, the, the, the gut is a target, target one. The heart is a target, target two. The brain is a target, target three. But the axis is actually multiple targets. So it's not just four targets. Part of that axis is your nervous system. Part of that axis is your inflammatory system. Part of that axis is your immune system. Part of that axis is your, is your gut lining. Part of that axis is your endocannabinoid system. So you know, just to, just to give you guys a perspective that we have a lot of targets. Uh, for, for, for example, we could target just the immune system piece and by doing so, people feel better. We could target just the endocannabinoid system piece and people feel better. We could target just the gut integrity piece and people feel better. But no company has ever taken that, that broad comprehensive view to say, look, all we wanna do is help people feel better. That's what mental wellness is all about. And if we can build products 
to target all of those simultaneously or individually, if you wanna take a very targeted approach to help people feel better, we have all of that under one umbrella here at Amari. And that's what our product line looks like. So, you know, like I, like I said at the very top of the call, we've only been selling products for about two years. We just had our two year anniversary um, last week when we were in California of officially launching our products. 22 products we have now across our product line. Um, that might sound like a lot of products, but if you're focused 100% on mental wellness and you really want to give people the option and the opportunity to customize whatever regimen they want to address wherever they are on that mental wellness continuum and allow them to move up and move up and move up and move up, you need to have a line of product that's broad enough to allow that customization process to happen. You'll get people who need lots of products because they have lots of issues. You'll have people who need just a couple of products products because they just want to fine tune something. You might have products for kids. You might have products for general nutrition and you can see that kind of stuff across the product line. What I'm going to talk about primarily tonight is the, is the gut brain access system. This is the product launch that we did in 2018. So right when Amara was launching, we put together the world's first gut brain access system. And so what you see here is that it's one box, but in that one box is, is, is our, is, is our three flavors flagship products, a product for the gut that we call Mentabiotics, a product for the brain that we call Mentafocus, and a product for the axis in between called Mentasync. And when we launched that at the beginning of 2018, we won this award that you can see on the screen right now called the Nutra Award. That's given once a year to one company for a product that represents the best finished product in the entire natural products industry that year. So we felt really, really good to even be nominated for this kind of thing. It's never been given to a startup before. It's never been given to a network marketing company before. So the fact that we were just in the running, we felt pretty good about. But when we won it, the judges made a big deal about the fact that it's something that I said earlier is that this is the, the very forefront of what will become a trillion dollar industry that's just going to be growing and growing and growing for decades to come because this idea of the multiple brains impacting mental wellness is something that, that, that science has basically just discovered. And we're really at the forefront of that. So what are those products, right? When Mentabiotics, when we say that is a, a gut focused product, you can almost not do something just for the gut or just for the brain or just for the axis because they have signaling qualities across. So if you do something in the gut, it doesn't stay in the gut it actually sort of permeates out from the gut to the rest of the body. But just for the sake of argument, let's, let's talk about Mentabiotics as our quote unquote gut product. In that one product, we have a blend of probiotics, a blend of prebiotics, which are the fibers that feed those probiotics. So the probiotics are the bacteria that we're giving. The prebiotics are the fibers that the bacteria will use as their fuel or their food. So they get their nourishment, they can do their metabolism, they can make their neurotransmitters, like I said before. And then we do something that Amari is really pioneering, this idea of phytobiotics, this idea of using phytonutrients or plant extracts to have signaling effects across the entire gut-brain axis. So all of that is built into that mentabiotics powder. You take one scoop, you put it into water or juice, or you throw it in your smoothie, or you mix it into your oatmeal or whatever you're gonna do, and, and, and you get all of that into your body. But it's not just any old probiotics. That's where sometimes people will hear, oh, mentabiotics, it's your probiotic. I'm already doing probiotics. I got one at the, at the drugstore last time I was there. You know, that isn't, that isn't what we want people to realize. We want people to understand that probiotic nutrition is very, very what we call strain dependent. So the benefits that we're trying to deliver as the mental wellness company are mental wellness benefits. So the probiotics that we're giving you in this product, Mentabiotics, aren't going to help with your constipation, aren't going to help with your diarrhea. They'll help with general gut health, general gut performance. So you'll have better regularity. You'll have less bloating. You'll have less, like my particular personal situation, I'm, I'm virtually cured of my heartburn because of I've been taking the right probiotics and prebiotics in mentabiotics. But the kinds of strains that we're using are completely dialed in to do mental wellness benefits. So the ones that you see on the screen right now, let's see if I can get my cursor up here. We've got this strain, 
lactobacillus rhamnosus R0011. This is a very specialized strain of bacteria that in human clinical trials has been shown to reduce stress. The way that it does it, it lowers cortisol, which is a stress hormone, and it, and it raises the production of GABA, which is a neurotransmitter that helps us relax. So if your stress hormones are going down and your relaxing neurotransmitters are going up, whenever you're under stress, you'll feel calmer. So we can deliver that with this very specialized strain. You won't get that benefit from just any old probiotic that's out there. And so that's what I mean by strain specificity. That strain delivers a very specific benefit of reducing your stress. We also give you this strain, Bifidobacterium longum R0175. That specific strain doesn't reduce your stress like lactoremnosis 11, Instead, it enhances your calmness. It reduces anxiety. It improves cognitive function in terms of mental focus. So a lot of times when you're, when you're, when you're anxious, your, your brain goes haywire and you can't remember things and you can't focus and you get a little bit of brain fog. If you take Bifidobacterium longum 175, your anxiety goes down, your focus comes up. So that could, be, that could be sort of a calmness kind of a bacteria. And then this last one, lactobacillus rhamnosus, or, uh, Lactobacillus helveticus 52, that improves mood. It improves neurotransmitter, it, it improves serotonin signaling, and it reduces neuroinflammation. So inflammation in, in the brain is one of the key drivers of depression. And so if we can lower inflammation in the brain, your depression goes down. If your serotonin levels go up, your depression goes down, your mood goes up. So each one of those strains delivers a very targeted benefit on mental wellness. One for stress, one for anxiety, one for depression, right? We could give you any one of those and you'd feel better. We give you all three of them so you feel holistically better. But we don't stop there. We also go to, a, to another level where we say, all right, it's great to give you the probiotics, the bacteria, but is there a way we can make those bacteria even more effective? Yes, we can deliver them in concert with or in combination with the, the, the foods that they use, the prebiotic fibers. So these are fibers, again, very targeted kinds of fibers, not just any old fiber, but specific fibers that deliver mental wellness benefits. So to use an example, this bimuno is a very specific kind of fiber called a galacto-oligosaccharide. In human research, it's been shown to improve your stress resilience. This one, sun fiber, is a very specific kind, of, different kind of fiber called the galactomannan. This one can change the balance of your microbiome. Once your microbiome is in a better balance, you're producing better signals, you feel better. So you get the idea. We give these fibers, all of them have been shown to have beneficial effects in humans for mental wellness outcomes. But do those fibers match up with the bacteria we're giving? Yes, we're the only company in the world that goes to this length to make sure that the bacteria we're giving for mental wellness and the fibers, prebiotic fibers that we're giving for mental wellness will play well with each other in the ways that are really important. So if you took just the bacteria, you feel better. If you took just the fibers, you'd feel better. But if you can put them together in the right way so they're perfectly matched, you'll get a much better overall benefit. You'll feel much better than you would otherwise. But we don't stop there. We go to that next level that I referred to before as phytobiotics, this idea that we can use specific plant extracts to have beneficial effects across the entire gut-brain axis. So here you can see what we're using is we're using a, an extract from apple fruit, an extract from grape seed, and an extract from pine bark, all within a category of compounds that we would call polyphenols or flavonoids, but they have signaling benefits, sometimes in the level of the gut, sometimes at the level of the immune system and the circulatory system, sometimes at the level of the brain and neurotransmitter balance. But again, another sort of a switch that we can use to help you feel better in all of these different ways. So we put all of that together in that mentabiotics, and that's, that's doing a lot of things. A lot of times people use just mentabiotics as their first entry into Amari, and they'll go, yeah, I feel better. What else can I do? How can I feel even more better? 
Another way you can feel better is another product in that fundamentals pack is targeted specifically to the brain. So this is our product called Mentafocus. Mentafocus has, has, a, has a number of different phytonutrients in it, but I'm just gonna focus on a couple. This one, this pomegranate extract, can improve brain activation. So people might take Mentafocus to help them focus better or be help with their brain fog or help with the speed of their memory or their ability to be creative and, 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 and you know, th those, those sorts of you know, brain functions. So we can do that by helping your brain do more work. What you're looking at is a couple of brain scans here. And the one on the top is a pomegranate situation where what you see is your brain is able to do more work, faster memory, better creativity, uh, better resilience, th those sorts of things. But what you also see is that the brain is having better activity in an area that is associated with calmness or relaxation. Those sound like they could be opposite, that you're activating the brain and calming the brain at the same time. Wouldn't those fight against each other? No, because they happen in different parts of the brain. And we can get that because the bioactives in pomegranate can help to, to activate both of those areas. So what you end up getting is this effect where your brain is able to do work, but do it in a calm, connected, engaged fashion. And that's, that's what people want. When they want to focus more, they want to be able to focus, but do it in a, in a really connected way. And that can, be, that can be playing video games. It can be doing your work. It can be hanging out with your kids and your family. You want to be more sort of present is another way to describe it. We can also look at it from, from the perspective of another ingredient called enzoginol. This is a very specific pine bark extract that we source from New Zealand. And we do that because it's the purest form of pine bark on the entire planet. In New Zealand, this stuff is actually used as first line natural therapy for people who are concerned about focus, like ADD issues and things like that. And then what, what, what you end up seeing is that there's all kinds of ways we can measure focus and we can measure memory and we can measure how quickly your brain is able to recall things. In an endogenous situation, your brain is much, much faster in doing what you ask it to do than in a control situation. So, you know, there's, there's, there's several ways that we can kind of skin this cat to help you feel better and perform better mentally. We can do it from a number of different perspectives. With this MentaSync product, this is a product that works in the immune system and in the inflammatory system to really get the better signals from the gut and the better signals from the brain to harmonize with each other so that now your axis can send those signals back and forth between your two brains or now your three brains if we talk about the heart product in a much more efficient manner and we've done some studies to show that if you just focused on just the axis piece by priming your immune system for example just doing that without doing anything in the brain without doing anything in the gut just doing the axis can help people feel better. We can measure improvements in quality of life parameters and overall well-being and, and, and mental wellness parameters like that. So again, there's lots of ways that we can get to this, to this end benefit of people feeling better and performing better. You know, so like I can, I can run through all that kind of stuff and we can go into deep dives on any of those particular ingredients, but it really comes down to this. One of the, one of the reasons, very important reasons, that, that our fundamentals pack works as well as it does to help so many people feel so much better in so many different ways is because it's so comprehensive. And it's been thought of ingredient by ingredient by ingredient to really be holistic. And what I mean by that is that when somebody is lower on that mental wellness continuum than we would want them to be, or that they want them to be, one of the challenges is they know that they feel bad or they feel not great. But a lot of times we don't know why. It could be because of your neurotransmitters are out of balance, or it could be that your gut is out of balance, or it could be that something in your axis is out of balance. It's difficult to, to unless you have access to a laboratory like I do, it's difficult to sometimes tease that out and figure out where the primary imbalance is. And so we take the perspective with fundamentals of saying, well, they all need to be rebalanced. They all need to be optimized. Let's do that. And that's why when people a lot of times come into Amare, the first thing that they'll choose is fundamentals 
because it's so comprehensive, because it does the microbiome piece and it does the gut integrity piece and it does immune system priming and inflammatory balance and neurotransmitter signaling. So once you get all of that balanced step by step by step, the end benefit is someone turning around and going, yep, that's what it was. And you know that, we don't know which one of those it was, but it was communication across that whole axis and people feel better. And, and, and you can't deliver that with just a probiotic intervention or just a phytonutrient intervention or just something for your gut, right? It, it, it's, it's, a, it's a lot more complicated than that in order to deliver, but it's actually really simple to plug into your life because we've already built all that science in. And I can say that with utmost confidence because at this point, this slide actually needs to be updated. It says here, scientifically supported formula, seven peer reviewed scientific presentations and publications. At this point, it's, and, and in fact, in a couple of months, it's gonna be over a dozen. We, you know, we present this science at scientific conferences around the entire globe. This past November, I was at the International Society for Nutritional Psychiatry Research in London, where I was able to present this idea of, of, a, of a comprehensive approach to gut-brain axis modulation as a way to improve mental wellness, but then stepping even from that to say that once you improve that mental wellness, you're able to see huge benefits in physical health. So we were able to show in that particular trial, coming from the same basis of gut-brain axis modulation with fundamentals, now you help people feel better, but you also see their cholesterols go down, you also see their blood sugar getting better, you also see their stress hormones coming down, you also see their body fat levels coming down, like things that are like you would consider to be purely physical have an have a have a have a um, have, a, have a seat coming from mental wellness, which has a seat coming from gut brain axis, which has a seat coming from microbiome, you can see how they're all linked together. And we can finally use the science, not just to show that, but to actually just make something that people can plug into their lives and get a benefit from. So um, just about four months ago, we took that idea of the gut brain axis and we enhanced it one more step. So this past September, we launched the world's first heart brain axis supplement. We had known for a while that the heart and the brain talk to each other. And so we launched this product, Meant to Heart, to take advantage of this. The idea that for, for a number of, well, since the 50s anyway, we knew that people who were depressed had a much higher risk of heart problems. And we knew that people with heart problems, like heart attacks, had a much higher risk of depression, right? So we've known that idea of these tissues somehow communicate with each other. And we, for a while, people thought it was mostly through inflammation. But now we understand that, yes, inflammation is a piece of it. And there's things we can do for that naturally. But the electrical signaling that goes back and forth between those two tissues, what I said earlier, the heart rhythms and the brain waves, if we can get those to balance with each other, we can improve how people feel. So we were able to put together the world's first nutritional approach to improving heart efficiency. And we, you know, we get all the things you would expect for a heart product. We get lowering of cholesterol, improvement of inflammation and, 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 and an antioxidant effect. We get improvements in blood pressure and blood flow and cardiac output, which is sort of the efficiency of your heart. We get all of that cardiovascular stuff. But in doing so, once we see the heart efficiency improving, then we also start to see brain benefits. We see increases in things like BDNF, which is, a, which is a sort of a hormone neurotransmitter factor that can actually stimulate your brain to make new neurons. As a result of that, we ended up seeing people feel better. We saw once the heart efficiency improved, now we started to see depression indexes go down fatigue indexes go out, down, vigor indexes go up. You know, So because the heart was becoming a better pump and a better signaling organ, people were benefiting from that by, by feeling better and performing better. So we saw benefits in mental performance, we saw benefits in physical performance, and now we have the opportunity to say to people, hey, you can do the gut-brain axis piece, fundamentals, 
and feel better. You can do the heart brain axis piece with mental heart and feel better. Or you can do something that we call the, the you know, we talk about these three brains. We have, a, we have a four product collection now called the fundamentals plus pack that brings all of these together. So you're bringing your gut and your heart and your brain and your axis all together in this coordinated four-way system where people can feel even more better. You know, so that's our product line. You know, I, I really want to focus, wanted to focus on this gut brain axis, heart brain axis stuff, what we call our fundamentals packs, because that's something that has never existed before. You know, uh, people have been feeling bad for a long time. And the things that we've had access to in terms of quote unquote solutions have been brain specific. They've been Prozac and Zoloft and Celexa and Xanax and Ambien and things like that to work primarily in the brain. Or sometimes they've been herbal versions of things that have also worked in the brain. And so sometimes people will come and they'll say, well, I've tried stuff to help me feel better and it didn't work. I tried an herb. I tried St. John's wort. I tried ashwagandha. I tried a probiotic and none of it worked. Well, it didn't work because it was like taking a pea shooter against a dragon or against a giant. In order to solve these multifactorial mental wellness challenges, you have to come at it in a multifactorial fashion. And that's exactly what our fundamentals products are all about. So that's, again, that's why they work for so many people in so many ways. But we, we didn't stop there. We also have a whole line of products called Menta Therapeutics that is targeted herbal therapy. Things like a mood product that does work primarily in the brain, but it works on depression and anxiety and stress and stress resilience all in the same product. That product, Mood Plus, was a finalist for Botanical of the Year last year. We have a product called Relief Plus, which is an anti-pain product that works as quickly as ibuprofen or Tylenol to get rid of the pain right now, but then it keeps the pain from coming back because of the way that it naturally slows the production of inflammatory compounds in the body. So you get pain relief now and you keep it from coming back. So that's, that's a natural way to approach physical pain relief at the same time that you're approaching psychological pain relief with some of our mental wellness products. We have a product called Sleep Plus, which is a non-melatonin way to improve your sleep quality. That product improves sleep quality by 40%. You spend more time in deep sleep where your body recovers and you spend more time in REM sleep where your brain recovers. We have a product in that mental therapeutics line called called Energy Plus, with help, which helps with physical energy and mental energy, what we would call mental acuity or focus, and also with, 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 with mental awareness, so that you're not just energized and you're not just focused, but you're also connected and engaged and, and present with whatever you're working on. That kind of three-tiered energy doesn't exist anywhere else in the entire industry. And it's, I think it's what a lot of people want when they say that they're tired or they're fatigued or they need a lift. They want to lift in all three of those areas, not in any one of those areas exclusively. We've got a line of products here called Menta Essentials, which is foundational nutrition. Vitamins, minerals, amino acids, phytonutrients, um, digestive enzymes, omega-3 fatty acids, all in, in delivery forms that are highly, highly bioavailable. So you can come from suboptimal nutrition, where most of us are, to optimal nutrition. So you have that solid foundation on which to build a good stress response system. We've got an entire line of products for kids. So everything that I said about the about the adult fundamentals is built into a product called kids fundamentals the same strains of bacteria the same structures of fibers the same phytonutrients all built in there to nourish that entire gut brain axis we've got a kids version of our vita gbx product for adults more than 50 nutrients vitamins minerals phytonutrients amino acids all to, 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 to nourish that level of optimal nutrition. So, you know, for our kids, 
We want our kids to have optimal nutrition so they have that foundation. We want them to have resilience, which we can deliver to them through nourishment of their entire gut brain axis. But then we also want them to have performance. And that's what our Kids Mood Plus product is all about. That product is a blend of spices that can help with mood, can help with focus, but really importantly, can help you do those things within the context of stress. Because a lot of times, that's when, the, that's when everything goes kablooey. That's when the meltdown happens. That's when you can't focus because of the stress of a test. That's when you can't interact with people because of the stress of a social situation or you know, whatever. We want our kids to be able to have all of that and we have it all in what we call the Amari Kids Pack. Each of those products will work separately on their own to deliver that, that set of benefits, but we put them together in a pack in a discounted fashion so that, so that people can get all of that for their kids in a single place. And then we've got this, a line of products called our GBX Foods, gut brain axis foods. These are functional foods that deliver your proteins and your greens and your fruit and vegetable intake and your fiber intake and your, your gut integrity to nourish your microbiome and help keep your gut healthy, but in a functional way. So a protein that also nourishes your microbiome, a greens fruit and vegetable extract that also lowers stress, a fiber product that helps with your, that helps with your gut function, but also lowers anxiety, right? So coming back to our mission of being the mental wellness company. So that's our, that's our product line. It does a lot across that, but it does it for a very particular reason that we want to meet people wherever they are on that mental wellness continuum and help them go up and up and up. And we, we, we combine that with, with, with diet plans. We have a program called the Mental Wellness Diet. We have a whole movement program that teaches people what the main functional movements are that you need to move your body. We have, we have mindfulness meditation programs that people can use in concert with the, with the products to help reduce their stress and improve their resilience and improve their mood and all those sorts of things. So the products are an important piece. The programs are an important piece. And the people are an important piece. That's one of the reasons that we distribute our products through this network fashion. Because look, I've been talking now for almost the full hour about all this science and the opportunity that we have of the timing around mental wellness being the big thing that everybody is talking about right now. And the most effective way to tell that story is through a social network like this, right? And that social network, once you start to connect with like-minded people, that just gets stronger and stronger and stronger. There's, a, there's another big problem in the world these days. Some people would call it a loneliness epidemic. I consider it to be more of a, like a, like a connection deficiency sort of a syndrome, right? Where we're all connected on social media, but are those really the kinds of connections? Like if I have 5,000 friends on Facebook, are those really strong connections? Probably not. But if we can harness some of that connection, whether it's online or in person or at the events that we do, to really help people, um, well, connect with each other, that's going to be a really important thing. So the people are important, the programs are important, the products are important. And if we can bring them together in a, in a concerted way, that's going to be meaningful for people. So before I wrap up and start taking questions, um, you know, I don't think we can have this conversation around mental wellness or reducing stress or improving resilience without addressing the elephant in the room, which is where does most financial, where does most stress come from for most people? It's finances. If you look at any of the big national surveys, whether it's from the American Psychological Association or, you know, any of the organizations that do these kinds of surveys, the number one source far and away of stress is, is finances. It's not having enough money. It's making ends meet. It's jobs. It's the economy. It's however people sort of, sort of score it. And so we believe here at Amare that money in the hands of good people can do great things, right? There are people here at Amare that are making fantastic amounts of money, which is awesome, but you often don't hear about that. We are not the kind of company that are going to parade people across the, the stage and give them these big gigantic checks to you know, show how much money they're making. We're not going to encourage them to put in their slide presentations 
the houses that they're building or the cars that they're driving or any of that kind of stuff. We want people to, to, to really come at it from the perspective of, look, if I can make more money, that's going to reduce a big source of stress in my life. If I can reduce stress and improve my own resilience, I'm going to have more resources to go out and help that next person get what I got. So that's a, that's a, that's a core value for us that we ask people to do this. After hearing what I just said about the products and about the gut brain axis and about the new science and about the timing and about the fact that we have a business opportunity that could maybe reduce some of that financial stress, ask yourself, how do you want to become involved? Do you want to use the products as a preferred customer so that you feel better or, 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 and, or do you want to start there and maybe build a business around that to help other people feel better and improve these mental wellness benefits in their life. Those are the kinds of things that we offer. You can become a preferred customer and be well, get those health benefits. You, be, you can become what we call a wellness partner and build an entire business around that, around helping others. And sometimes, you know, sometimes Pat hints, who's our founding wellness partner, will join me on this call. He does his own calls around the business side of Amari on Monday nights. Um, he said something recently, and I think he puts this as part of his presentation now that really, really stuck with me around the whole idea of earning an income and making a difference, which is there's three, there's three sort of levels of making money or making a living, right? There's lots of ways to make money, right? You can make money doing whatever it is you do to make money and, you know, trade time for money. You can, you can do all sorts of things. There's another level, which is a little bit higher than that, which is doing something to make enough money where then you have the resources to go out and make a difference in the world. So making money, doing whatever, but making enough of it to make that difference. And then the third level of, of, of making money and making a difference doesn't come around very often, doesn't almost ever present itself, which is to be able to make money doing the thing that makes a difference in the world. So if anything that I've said tonight resonates with you about helping others, about helping yourself, about helping to change the dynamics around mental wellness, if any of that resonates with you, we have an opportunity to make money, make a, make, make a living in that thing. And that's something that, that is really, really rare to see. And we're offering people an, an opportunity to take a look and, and, and see, if, see if that resonates with them and see if, it, see if it makes sense for them. So that's my presentation. I'm going to go up here and stop this share so we can go back, just me, no more slides. And like I said at the beginning, I'm going to go and look and see what's in that chat room and try to answer those questions first. And then we'll open it up and you know, we'll, we'll, we'll have a discussion and see if anybody has other questions. So um, there's one question here from Heidi. For, for a person that's lactose intolerant, will the fundamentals and also the probiotics be okay to take? Yeah, absolutely. So um, lactose intolerance means you can't, you can't digest that sugar, lactose, that you often find in, find in dairy products, in milk and yogurt and ice cream and things like that. Um, the, 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 the bacteria that we use in our mentabiotics product um, and the bacteria that we use in our probiotics product, different strains in each of those products, um, don't, don't have any, don't have any um, milk, uh, uh, residual milk ingredients in any of, the, any of the products. Very often what happens when we grow those bacteria we have to use a dairy ingredient in the, in the growth media because that's just, that's just what those bacteria use when they're growing, when they're generating, when they're, when they're sort of going from a, from a, from a non-viable state to a viable state. But then when we harvest them, we, 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 we extract out just the bacteria, we micro-encapsulate them for shelf life reasons and viability reasons, but there's no residual lactose, there's no residual casein, there's no residual any of those dairy ingredients. So people, people who have those sort of dairy issues can absolutely use the products without any risk of you know, having, having those sort of side effects, okay? So that's a, that's a, that's a good question, Heidi. Um, so there's a question here from, from Hank. Um, in the first two years since Amari launched and offering fundamentals pack for sale, what percentage in general of the population that started taking the product has indicated noticeable improvement in their gut brain access and how quickly day, week, month? That's an awesome question. Um, and I can tell you with pretty good, um, pretty good, reliable confidence 
that it's a that's that it's probably in the 90th percentile, right? I would love to say it's 100%, but nothing is ever 100% for anybody. How can I say that? Have we gone out and done a clinical trial on every single person that is that has done our fundamentals? No, we haven't done that. In our clinical trials, we get virtually 100% effectiveness, meaning those people who start and they feel terrible, they feel better at the end and they feel very comprehensively better. Some people have more of, a, of an anti-fatigue effect. Some people have more of a mood boost. Some people have more of an anti-stress effect. That piece differs depending on the person sometimes, but in general, almost 100% of the people are having some sort of an improvement in some aspect of their mental wellness. But how can I say that the numbers are as high as they are? Because we track reorder rates. We track people who come in at the beginning. Do they order again? Do they order again? How long are they a customer? What is that sort of, um, there's a word for it, and it's, called, it's uh, retention is what the sales guys would call that, right? You can look at a customer retention over time. And here at Amare, we have never, never in, in any of our uh, um, uh, employment histories, right? So myself, the head of sales, Rich Higby, uh, Pat Hintz, who's our founding wellness partner, we've been in the network marketing industry for the majority of our careers. 20, 25, 30 years in some cases. And we have never, ever, ever seen the kind of retention numbers that we're seeing. They're, they're, they're up into the 90th percentile, meaning people are trying the products and they like what they, they like what they're getting enough to do it again and again and again. And part of it is that they're getting good initial benefits, but I'll almost guarantee that part of the reason we're seeing such high retention in our customers and our wellness partners is that the phased benefits. They're not just getting better here, they're getting more better and more better and more better. And what I mean by that is that some aspects of mental wellness, like stress and tension, for example, you can help somebody with that relatively quickly, sometimes in a day, sometimes in a couple of days, but, but, but fast. Some of the other aspects of mental wellness are a little bit longer in their, in their trajectory. Like they take longer to manifest in a way that people can feel or that you can measure and quantify in a sort of a clinical trial situation. So tension and stress very quickly. Um, things like brain fog or focus might be a week. Things like resilience and tension and irritability might be a couple of weeks. Something like depression or anxiety might be four weeks or six weeks or eight weeks, right? Depending on how sort of how bad it is and how unbalanced the person is. But the fact that you can get somebody to feel good quickly and then feel better medium term and then feel better, long, even better longer term, that's, a, that's, that's something that's, that's very, very rare. I, I don't want to go, go too far down that rabbit hole, but that's a great question. Um, Nancy's got a question here about um, can the energy, our, our energy drink product called Energy Plus, be mixed directly into water with kids fundamentals and also with the mentabiotics to drink each morning? Um, yeah, you can absolutely do that. Um, second part of the question, is there anything we should not mix with the mentabiotics or the kids fundamentals? So mentabiotics and kids fundamentals both have live bacteria. So the one thing you wouldn't want to do, well, two things you wouldn't want to do with that. You wouldn't want to mix it and then leave it sit for a long time. So people ask me sometimes, you know, could I mix that up the night before and then drink it the next morning, right? To sort of make the morning routine a little bit quicker and a little bit less stressful. I wouldn't recommend that because one of the things that, that probiotic bacteria are, are very susceptible to is moisture. And so if you were to mix it up, we, we, we actually want people to drink that down as quick as possible so it can get into the part of the body that where it really becomes viable and really has its, has its metabolic uh, uh, benefit. The other thing you wouldn't want to do with either of those products, mentabiotics or kids fundamentals, is put it into something that is scalding hot. So you wouldn't want to pour boiling water over the top of it. You could put it into a warm beverage. If it's warm enough, if it's cooled off enough for you to drink it, it's cooled off enough for you to put that probiotic product in there. So, but there's no problem with, with mixing kids fundamentals with the energy plus or with superfood or even with the kids mood product, which is designed as a, what we call a direct to mouth powder or a pixie stick. You rip that off and dump it into your mouth. 
Some people prefer to rip it off and dump it into, into, into their kids' fundamentals and mix it all up and drink it all down at the same time. So you can do all those kinds of things. Just, just be aware of very, very high temperature. Don't do that. And be aware of very long durations of having it sit in water. Don't do that. Okay. But otherwise, feel free to, you know, experiment and, and see, see really what works for you. Okay. Um, so yeah, uh, Heidi is, is actually answering that question. Lots of people mix up their mentos. So my wife, I, you know, I'll, I'll use this as, as an example. She doesn't like the taste of our mentobiotics. It's an unflavored powder. And so mixing in water is not her favorite thing. She'll do it when she needs to or when she, when she has to. But she would rather put it in juice. Or what she mostly does most mornings is she'll take her scoop of mentobiotics and a scoop or two of our superfood, which tastes amazing, and mix that up together. And it doesn't look pretty. It looks, it looks like pond scum, right? It's a, it's, a green, it's a green beverage. None of those green beverages look good, but it tastes good, and it allows her to get her fruit and vegetable intake and her gut-brain axis nourishment all at the same time in a way that, in a way that tastes good for her. Okay. Um, I know people who just take the mentobiotics powder and put it right into their mouth. I wouldn't recommend that, but there's certainly people who do that. A couple other questions here. Um, uh, uh, Hannah is asking for seniors and Alzheimer's dementia, what would be recommended? Fundamentals and omega with a, with a question mark um, and anything to point out that helps with aging better. Um, so one thing I'll point out that helps with aging is our Vita GBX product. Um, this is people look at that product and they're like, oh yeah, multivitamin, no big deal. And it is a multivitamin. Uh, so it's going to nourish your body, but it's also specifically a multivitamin for your brain. So not only does it nourish your brain, it improves the, 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 the focus benefits. It improves the performance and the protection of your brain, but it also will help your cells protect themselves. One of the things that Vita GBX will do is induce these cellular protection pathways, one of which is called NERF2, one of which is called NF-kappa B. So NERF2 is involved in protecting your body from free radicals. It delivers an antioxidant benefit. Um, NF-kappa B is, a, is an inflammatory pathway, so we can help with inflammation. Um, autophagy is a pathway that's involved in cellular cleanup. Um, we, you know, we're, we're, we're having benefits on pathways like like CERT1, which is an anti-aging pathway, and mTOR, which is a metabolic pathway, that multivitamin is doing a lot to help your cells become more resilient to the face of whatever stress could cause them to age faster. So you can consider that to be an anti-aging product. Another anti-aging product we have is called, our, is called superfood. That superfood will also induce a stress resilience pathway in your cells that are called heat shock proteins. Heat shock proteins protect your cells from damage, but they also help to clean up residual damage. So either of those two products, VitaGBX or Superfood, in and of themselves could be considered anti-aging products. But getting back to the main question, which is what would you recommend to help somebody with mental focus? Well, Menta, Menta Focus, the product, is directly targeted to helping with memory, helping with speed of recall, helping with creativity, helping with brain blood flow and neurotransmitter balance. So that's a very targeted sort of an approach. But think about where a lot of those signals are coming from in the first place to help you with that idea or help you with that mood or help you with that focus. It's coming from your gut. So don't think about just the brain. Think about where those signals are coming from the second brain. So I think that anybody who's concerned about memory issues should think about not just the brain, but the entire gut brain axis, that's fundamentals, or the heart brain axis, that's meant to heart, or any of these anti-aging pathways, Vita GBX and superfood. So again, it, it, it comes back to the idea of Amari being a, a company that has a line of products where you can go, hmm, What's going to be the right regimen for my particular situation or the particular situation that I'm asking about? It could be this and this and this, and that, that cobbled together regimen might be for one person. And then a slightly different cobbled together regimen might be the thing for the next person because we're all individualized like that. It's the first time we're able to sort of customize and personalize these mental wellness um, uh, uh, regimens that was that, that was just not possible before, it, especially from a science-based perspective. So just a couple a couple more, and then I'll and then I'll get over to the phone lines. Um, let me see. Uh, have a friend who's been on the fundamentals for a few months. She felt great at first, 
she's a Pilates instructor, puts in really long days, and now she's having some headaches and not feeling well. Um, we think we've narrowed her problem down and not getting enough nutrients for the amount of exercising and long days she's doing. And she's thinking more electrolytes. Can you give some more advice? So this is, this is not an uncommon scenario. Um, people will feel a certain way. They'll add in some Amari products, let's say fundamentals, for example, and they'll start feeling better. And then they'll, because they're feeling better, they'll start doing more. And because now they're doing more, now what they're doing or we're doing to help them feel better, maybe isn't enough because now they're taking on more stress. They're taking, you know, now they need a higher level of resilience. That's what I was referring to before of saying, where am I on the mental wellness continuum? What do I need now to get to the next stage? Once I get to that next stage, maybe I'm starting to take on more and I need to add more products. Maybe I'm in a better place and I can use less products. That's the idea of customizing. So you might even customize based on sometimes you're under high stress and you need more stuff. Sometimes you're under low stress and you need less stuff, uh, less stress. When I travel, so tomorrow I'll leave on a multi-cities tour around the country. I'll be using more Amari products when I'm traveling than I would normally use as my typical regimen. I'll be using mentobiotics twice a day. I'll be using, well, I'll be using the whole fundamentals pack twice a day. I might be using mentosync three times a day because I'm on airplanes, I'm on airports, I'm meeting a lot of people at these events. I wanna bolster my immune system, so I'll, I'll use extra mentosync. I might be using uh, a sleep plus on a, on a more consistent basis when I'm traveling and getting shorter duration of sleep than I normally would when I'm at home. You know, so I wanna make sure if I'm only getting six hours, that six hours is as high quality as possible. Whereas if I'm getting eight hours and, a, you know, and I'm home and not traveling, maybe it's not as important. So you get the idea that we should feel comfortable customizing based on those sort of ebbs and flows of what our, what our, what our lives look like. Um, so getting back to the chat room, um, uh, yeah, uh, 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 Michelle, I would love to do a, I would love to do a zoom call with you sometime for your, for your business page. So, um, you know, uh, email me, text me, whatever, you know, um, you know, share your, share your info. I'm really easy to find my, my, my email is just s talbot at amari.com. Really, really, really easy to get in touch with me. Um, Joni's asking, is there any special delivery system to ensure the probiotics get all the way to the gut? Yes, there is. And I'll tell you about that in just a second. Um, she's noticed some probiotics are encapsulated with different coatings so that bacteria get all the way to the gut. So we do that in our probiotics product. So we have one product in our essentials line called probiotics. It's five strains of probiotic bacteria that help with things like supporting your immune system or helping with inflammation or helping with with mineral absorption or helping with gut motility or et cetera, et cetera, right? So they're all very specific general wellness benefits, but, but at least three of those strains don't survive stomach acid very well. And so in order to maintain their viability all the way to the lower part of the GI tract, we put those five strains inside a capsule that is resistant to stomach acid. It doesn't release until it gets to the lower part of your gastrointestinal tract. So that's the way we do that because those strains are susceptible to that kind of damage. The three strains that I talked about tonight though that are in our mentobiotics powder, those can survive stomach acid wonderfully well. They're also um, perfectly fine at room temperature. So we don't have to refrigerate it. We don't have to package it in any particular way. We do micro encapsulate them, which extends their shelf, shelf life. So we get a longer viability of them when they're just sitting on the shelf before you open up the canister. So there's all kinds of things that go into our decisions about what, you know, what, first of all, what benefits are we trying to deliver? What strains will deliver those benefits? And then when we look at the strains, we say, all right, this anti-stress strain, is it, can it be uh, stable at room temperature or do we have to refrigerate it? If we have to re refrigerate it, we're probably not interested in it anymore because that doesn't work with our supply chain, right? We'll have to ship things on ice packs and that's not gonna work for us. So, you know, so there's that. Um, 
does it have a short shelf life? If it only has a shelf life of two weeks, that doesn't work for us either because it's going to be dead by the time it reaches you. Um, if, it, if it was something that didn't survive the stomach acid, then I couldn't put it into a powder. I would have to put it into a capsule. So, so those are the kinds of things that drive how we determine what strains we use, how much of them we use, uh, how we deliver them, all that kind of stuff. So we're looking at all that kind of stuff and we're, and we're measuring it over time. So we're going into the warehouse and pulling products out and measuring the viability on a, on a consistent basis so that we make sure that we're delivering fresh, effective, efficacious products so that people get those benefits and, they, and we have good retention. If, if it works, they're going to buy it again, buy it again, buy it again, buy it again. So you get the idea. Um, and the your questions just keep coming, which is lovely. I'm happy to keep answering these questions. Um, so there's a, there's a couple more in here. Um, so delivery system, I got that one. Um, Diane's asking if you're having surgery and the doctor recommends coming off the fundamentals and other supplements, when can that person start fundamentals again? The day after surgery. You know, so the, you know, the reason that most doctors will recommend that before you're going in for elective surgery is because a lot of supplements can have blood thinning qualities to them. And so if, you're, if your blood is thin, even if it's like a, like a healthy thinning, you don't want thin blood when somebody's cutting into you for surgery. And so you would wanna go off those kinds of supplements for you know, three days, maybe as long as a week before you go in for surgery. But the only ones that really have a significant blood thinning quality to them would be our omega, which is our fish oil product. It's a really high potency omega-3 product um, and our relief plus product. Both of those have pretty, um, I, I don't wanna say substantial because I don't wanna scare anybody that this is like a dangerous thinning. It's a very healthy blood flow uh, uh, enhancing effect. Um, but prior to uh, uh, an elective surgery, those are probably the two products that you wanna go off. But something like fundamentals is probably fine for you to stay on. I don't wanna you know, you know, co contradict anything your doctor has told you, um, but that is something you would absolutely wanna go on after, as soon as possible, to really enhance that anti-inflammatory effect, that immune system bolstering effect, the microbiome balancing effect, because all of those are gonna be involved in tissue repair and tissue rebuilding and tissue rejuvenation, which you're absolutely gonna need after a surgical procedure, okay? Um, so I think, I think that might've been it. There's a couple of people who are asking about, will this be recorded? It is being recorded. I generally will post this up the day after, so sometime tomorrow on my blog site, which is just my name. If you go, to, if you go in and type in seantalbot.com, it's gonna bounce to my blog site, which is, which is called bestfutureyou.com. And in that blog, I've got lots and lots of entries, but if you go in the search box and you type in deep dive, it'll go right to the blog entry where I have all the deep dives, including Zoom calls like this. And this will be the very top one. And so what you'll see there is, you'll see this video, you can click on it and watch it on YouTube. Um, and these slides that I use tonight, you can click on it and download the slide set right to your computer. Okay, so we, again, we try to make this information as widely available and widely shareable as possible so that more and more people can hear this message that everybody needs to hear. So that's everything that's in the chat room. I'm gonna close that. And I'm gonna, we're, we're, we're just a few minutes past the top of the hour. If there's one or two more questions where you wanna unmute yourself and ask a question, I'd, I'd, I'd be happy to stay and answer that for you. So all you have to do is click on that little microphone and talk. Hey, Dr. Sean, it's Heidi Lyle. Hey, Heidi, how are you? Hello. Hey, I did have a customer ask me about the expiration date on your products, on the Mari products. Uh, how, off, how far after the expiration date are they not effective? Are they... Yeah, that's a, that's a good, so even if you've got a product that was past its expiration date for a certain reason, like, you know, our, our, our operations team is, is really on top of this. We actually had a conversation about this today. Um, you know, if we have a product that's going to expire in July, let's say, we won't ship that out to anybody three months ahead of that expiration date so that they can get it and they can use it within a, within a window, you know, a, sort of a wide window before, before that expiration date hits. 
Once that expiration date hits though, you've got months and months before, of, 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 of additional viability. Even with the probiotics, with our probiotics, for example, when, when, when we launched, we thought we would probably have a 24 month shelf life, but we marked all of our products with 12 months. We found that our shelf life was actually, so that, that, that gave us a big window. We actually found through our consistent testing that it wasn't 12 months, it was more like 18 months. And that now we're finding that it's more like the 24 months that we, that we thought. So we take a very, very conservative approach and we'll give a very tight window on that, on that production until we can actually have the data to show we can extend it to 24 or 36 or something like that. But we want the product to be as fresh as possible to, to the customer. So it has its, 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 its utmost in viability. Does that make sense? Yes. Thank you so much. Yeah, sure thing. Maybe, maybe one more, if there's, if there's one more question out there. Okay, or if there's not, I'll thank you guys for being here tonight and I'll, I'll invite you guys to share this with as many people as you think needs to hear this question. It, it, it'll be posted up tomorrow, okay? Thanks a lot, you guys. Have a good night.